I can't think of a film released in the past few years with a more relaxed and comforting atmosphere than Little Women. And a lot of that is down to the writing, directing and acting, but in today's video I want to look at Yorick Lasor's cinematography, as it's a major part of making us feel calm and reassured throughout the film, but it also makes us feel as though we've been thrown into this world. When I think of some of my favourite cinematography of the past few years, Little Women always comes into my head, and I've never really been able to put a finger on it until a recent rewatch, and then it clicked. It's something to do with the atmosphere that Greta Gerwig and Yorick Lasor built. Before we start, I just wanted to mention that I was planning on the succession video this week, but there's a lot more to cover than I thought, and I need a bit more time on it, so I've pushed it to next week. In today's video, I look at what equipment Yorick Lasor used, as well as a few of the techniques he used to make us feel at home in the cinematography. As always, let's start by looking at the equipment first. I think it's clear that if you are shooting a period drama, it has to be shot on film, if the budget allows for it. She absolutely wanted to shoot it on 35mm film, as the overall texture provided by film grain would better support the reality of the story, as opposed to the flat image produced by digital. When it comes to the subtle tones of faces, as well as the colours of the natural world, the results are far more beautiful and engaging on 35mm than they are with digital. So they used Kodak's Vision 3 500T exclusively, as it's not only one of the best all-round film stocks regarding image quality, but it allows for extended latitude in the highlights for improved flexibility, and that's vital if you are only using one stock. I really wanted the grain and the texture of the 500T to be part of the look, and using just one stock for all of the scenarios provided a pleasing continuity of contrast, grain, and colour saturation throughout. Looking at the lenses, Lasor primarily opted for Cook S4s and occasionally Ingenue's Optimo lenses, but only if they were in a rush or if the Cooks weren't long enough. S4s are some of the most characterful lenses today. They're organic and add a sense of warmth to any shot without losing any sharpness. And as for the Ingenues, simply put, they're some of the best zooms on the market. They then used the Aricam ST and LT, with the LT being a much more compact and lightweight camera perfect for handheld, and the ST being an ultra quiet film camera. Where else do you start looking at the techniques for this film than the colour? It's undoubtedly one of the most simple yet unique techniques you could do, but it means everything and if you haven't already guessed it by watching the film or by this far in the video, it's the use of a warmer palette for the past and a cooler one for the present. But what is the actual meaning of this use of colour? Well, the warmer scenes show a time where there was little to worry about in regards to living. We see them having fun, whether it's going to parties or putting on shows. It's a time of happiness for the four, a time where if you were to think back on it as if it were your own life, you would feel warm about it, whereas the cooler scenes suggest a life that isn't as easy for them now, or at least isn't as happy. And as we watch the film from Jo's perspective, we can take it as though she longs for the days where she could be as happy as she was seven years ago again. We bounce back and forth quite a bit though, I mean just by looking through this page of stills we can see that there is a stark difference between the cooler and the warmer scenes and at least for me, it seems much more significant than it does when you are actually watching the film. However, colour isn't the only thing he used to show time periods. Lesseur also encouraged pastel colours in the scenes. In doing this, he would subdue the contrast and reveal the detail in the shadows. He would also frequently flash the negative, a technique pioneered by Freddie Young. The idea was that, with these lenses capturing onto 35mm 500T, we would get a lovely overall softness to the image, especially on the actor's skin tones, whilst also achieving an engaging presence to the image, so that the audience would feel immersed in the hot summer days, the autumn leaves and the winter snows. Before we finish, I want to quickly look at the lighting. Lesseur said there was a temptation to overlight scenes, and apparently that proved a healthy challenge during production. 
Staying true to the time period though, Gerwig wanted to use real flames and candlelight during the night scenes, asking for the picture to look alive, colourful and real. However, during the day she wanted a mostly natural looking window light, which thanks to the weather, isn't possible a lot of the time. So Lesore used a variety of lights including a customised one made of small bulbs from a 2K LED that they could flicker when needed. They then used quasar rainbow tubes for the fire effects, and DMG Lumiere LEDs and ARRI S60s for a soft fill. Our goal was to shoot with as shallow depth of field as possible, and to make the images look true to the actual era with a dark and smoky patina. The use of filtration, the very con in front of the lens, and allowing natural flares to inhabit the image was purposefully intended to give the on-screen results texture and authenticity appropriate to the time period. How great is that? Mm. I love to listen to you read, Joe, but I just love it better when you read the stories you've written. I don't have any new stories. Why not? Overall, the cinematography of Little Women is some of the most compelling I've seen in years. The use of colour to portray time periods is magnificent, and the way in which Yorick Lesore and Greta Gerwig implemented lighting makes it feel so much more true to the original story. It also makes for a great double feature with Lady Bird, which leads me on to, if you're a fan of Gerwig's work then you might also enjoy this video that I made a year ago looking at the cinematography of Ladybird, so I'll link that in the top right corner and description below. I hope you enjoyed this video looking at how Yorick Lesor shot Little Women. If you have a film or TV show that you would like to see me analyse then leave a comment down below. If you found it informative, a like is appreciated, and if you would like to see more videos like this then hit the subscribe button. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. <laughs>